Namaste. Good morning. I hope this morning finds you well. Today I want to talk to you about how easy life is apart from beliefs. How easy and how high the experience of living and of touching this moment can be when beliefs are let go of or held loosely. And so I would ask you, what do you believe? Now, odds are you have many, 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 many beliefs, and most of which you might not even be fully aware of. You see, there are so many layers, uh, continual layers of belief. And so today I just want to chat with you about our beliefs and encourage you to hold them loosely. So uh, here we go. In realizing who and what you are, um, you should always know that your truest self is here and now. That you can't mentally bring yourself or wrap your mind around your truest nature. Let go of your own understanding and in all your ways acknowledge your true nature. But you can't acknowledge it in your own understanding because the mind, especially the linear mind or the unrenewed mind, is has a very difficult time even beginning to process because what the mind likes to do is it likes to take in information and then it wants to grab a hold of that information and a large uh, bit of that information ends up becoming beliefs. Uh, a whole lot of times it ends up becoming a belief structure or system. Now there's place for all of that. We have our bookstores are flooded with self-help books and there are self-help gurus all over the place and people are continually trying to help you ascend into the third heaven or into the galactic council or and to better yourself and to, to do that you have to have a certain bit of knowledge and you have to dot your I's and cross your T's and say this prayer or fast this much or do this thing and all of it's fine and good it's it's all about just energy your body is energy everything that you perceptionally experience on this beautiful earth including your own body and mind are energy but what are you energy doesn't die so even your body it transitions but it doesn't die wood the tree outside can be cut down and we call that death but the truth is it doesn't die it just transitions into a different form just like water being boiled or frozen transitions into a different form water is never empty there is no such thing as empty there is no such thing as full the truth is we are living consciousness living nothings experiencing everything but we've been blinded by our own perceptions and our perceptions are bringing in perceptionally information knowledge that we think is powerful but that information and knowledge ends up oftentimes being held on to and turns into a belief that is then becomes a weight or a burden that you carry and it slows you energetically it slows you down and it not only slows you down energetically, but it actually hinders you physically and mentally from being able to fully enjoy and be satisfied in the moment because the mind is continually looking for more. So to be present in the here and the now, to truly be present in the here and the now, you have to let go. To experience the way, the Tao, the life, the word, and when I say the word, to um, be the word in bodily form, the word made flesh, is to let go of the information and what you believe about yourself. In order to truly touch your divine nature, you must let go of what you believe about your nature. Your belief about God is not necessary for you to, uh, to know or to be. So know everything, but think nothing. Accumulate information, but never grasp it. 
never hold on to it. Your need to understand and to be right and to have a belief or formulate a belief fades away in the realization of what you are. You see, it's what you're trying to become with all that knowledge. It's what you're trying to become that's your greatest enemy. Don't try to become enlightened. Don't try to become awakened. Don't try to become something more. Instead, simply realize in this moment that you are already everything and nothing. Realize in this moment that your true nature, that I am nature, fills, pervades everywhere and everything. And yet everything is actually manifesting or unfolding within your truest nature, which is nothing, the space. You are the space in which all things are unfolding. You are the presence in which this present moment is unfolding. And you, in the realization of that, can animate that body and the mental and physical consciousness of that body and touch in that body that moment in a deep and an intimate and a very meaningful way. But this really only happens as we let go of what we think we know, as we surrender what we believe, not as we grab a hold of. So I am not telling you do this and then you can arrive. I'm telling you that you have already arrived, that you are already perfected. It might not be in your awareness, but what's keeping your awareness or consciousness from realizing your perfection is actually your belief that you are imperfect. It's found in the knowledge that you have perceptionally acquired and grabbed a hold of. It's become a belief that says you're imperfect and that says that you are just this human being and this body, that you are this body. And there's so many things that you're believing that, and it's those beliefs. And biblically speaking, the word revelation means to strip away. And so right now, there's grace here for some of these beliefs, some of these layers of beliefs and identity and knowledge to just be pulled back and stripped away. But it can, it's going to happen only in one of two ways. Either be forced back or it will happen as you just simply open your hand and say, you know, if it's real, then it is eternal. So if it can be burned up in the fire of self-realization, burned up in the fire of revelation, then let it. If it can be stripped away, then let it go. So bring in all the information and knowledge that you want, but you must hold it loosely or it'll become a burden that you carry. Life is so easy without belief. I couldn't tell you the last time I really believed something, but I can tell you that I remember having beliefs growing up and I remember the weight that they it felt like such a burden. And I unknowingly carried those burdens for a very long time. And I fought for those burdens and I argued and I debated and none of it was bliss for me. None of it was joy for me. None of it brought peace. It was only in letting go of those things that I discovered the peace that I was, the joy that I was, the bliss that I could experience in body and mind and the awareness that could be and that we all are. I love you. Drop whatever questions you have in the comments below. I want to hear from you. Thanks for watching this video. Talk to you tomorrow.